going on YouTube? It's Paul Chambers with the Miles Group. It's been a while since I put anything up. Someone told me I needed to do that, so let's do it. Um, <laughs> just got back from a two-day road trip. Um, on that trip, I was able to write 11 policies, and um, none of those policies were business that was generated from new leads. It was all referrals from current clients. Um, so I wanted to talk about something that is extremely, extremely important in what we do. Um, especially in insurance, we're working with a tangible product, right? We're working with, you know, every company out there has some type of whole life insurance product for the most part. Um, one important thing to remember as you're going in and, and, and meeting with individuals is that you need to stop focusing on selling the product and focus on selling yourself, okay? People buy on emotion. People buy from uh, people that they like. They buy from people that they trust. Perfect example that I've, I've shared before, there's one company out there that closes 100% of their sales. 100% of their sales. They've probably closed, everybody that's watching this video right now, probably even within the last month because it's their time of year, 100% of their sales they close. They are, uh, if you're wondering who it is, who's closed me that I don't know about, um, they're about four feet tall. They also are usually wearing something green, come around once a year and they sell cookies. The Girl Scouts. <laughs> Think about it. The Girl Scouts close everybody, everybody, and they're selling a tangible product, cookies. You go to any one of your supermarkets, there's an entire aisle of cookies. Why do we buy them from the Girl Scouts? Every year, that box of cookies gets more expensive. Every year, the box stays the same size, but the amount of cookies goes down somehow. Yet every year we buy cookies from the Girl Scouts. Why? Yeah, Samoas are good. I love Tagalongs, but we buy because we like them. We buy because we trust them. All right. It's a tangible product, but we still buy from them every time. You need to be no different. We need to be no different in what we do. We need to stop selling tangible products and start selling ourselves, okay? Who you're gonna choose to handle your life insurance can be a very, very, very tough decision, all right? Nobody likes tough decisions. People like no-brainers. They like a no-brainer decision that makes them feel good. That's what we need to do. We need to make their relationship with us, whether or not they're gonna have that, a no-brainer, because when it's a no-brainer, there's nothing to second guess. You know what I mean? If you get something that was a tough decision and then something else comes along, you're now second guessing yourself. But if it's a no brainer, if you feel inside that you made the right decision, you don't even entertain anything else, okay? So you don't have to worry about someone coming in and replacing your product because their decision to go with you was a no brainer. You need to, you know, when I leave that house, my presence in that house was a no-brainer when I leave that house. I leave that house on a mission to make sure that nobody is second-guessing their decision. They're not second-guessing the company that they went with, and they're certainly not second-guessing the agent that they chose to handle something as serious as their final expenses, because that impacts their entire family. And when that decision is a no-brainer, you're closing more deals, you're generating more business because they're gonna tell everybody that they know and you're keeping your business on the books because they trust you, they liked you, they want you to keep coming back. So if you're having a bad day, you need to check yourself before you go to that door because whether you realize it or not, the energy that you have, whether it be positive energy, whether it be negative energy, that energy is immediately transferring to all of the people around you. So if you're in a house and you're confident and you look like money and you sound like money and you look like someone that they wanna do business with, they're gonna do business, right? Just on the energy that you're putting out. Forget your level of product knowledge, okay? That stuff is important, but it means absolutely nothing if they don't like you and they don't trust you. So make sure that you have a very, very, very clear understanding of where your head is at at every minute of every day because you don't know you don't know how that is going to impact the next person that you come in contact with one way or the other okay it's not a coincidence that when you get home at the end of a day 
your day was off the charts. It was just a badass day where every single thing that you came in contact with fell into place. That's why they say that the best time to go write business is right after you just wrote some business. Okay, that's not just a saying, it's a fact. And the reason for that is because when you leave a house knowing that you helped someone, knowing that you closed a deal to help your own family, you're feeling great. You have bounce in your step. You're, you're hopping right to the next porch. On the flip side of that, it's the same thing. Whenever you're giving a laundry list of why things didn't go your way, I, I got to know someone wasn't home, blah, 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 wah, wah, wah. Take your ass home earlier in the day because you're doing yourself and your business absolutely zero good if you're going out with negative energy. If you have a lead in your hand and you say, oh, you know, I, I hate this neighborhood or, well, you know, whatever your newest excuse is, don't even go. It's not going to happen because you've already lost. You're not likable. Who wants to hang out and sit with someone for an hour that is putting off bad energy? Who in their right mind is going to write a check to somebody that doesn't make them feel good inside? Even if they do, the next person that comes along with that same tangible product who they like just a little bit more, it doesn't matter what the product is. That's where they're going to go. So that is, I think, the most important thing if you're going to be successful consistently is having that in check, knowing that the next person you come in contact with, this is going to go one way or the other, and it's not based on them. It's based on you and how you're presenting yourself. So be likable, have the right energy, transfer the right energy, forget about the product, okay? Again, it is a tangible product. Everybody has it. What makes this company different is you. You are the only thing that makes this company different, that makes you different. So that's the thing that you need to keep in mind and that you need to focus on every minute of every day and that's why it's so important to only make sure you're talking to other successful people, that you're talking to other positive people. If you get into a, you know, a, a, a pool of misery that you're swimming around with someone, you're not gonna be able to be successful. Okay, so look at yourself in the mirror before you get out of that car and ask yourself, what kind of energy am I giving off? And when you go in, be only thinking about that one thing, about making the experience a great one for not only yourself, but more importantly, for the family that you're sitting with. Because the minute you become likable, the minute they trust you, the deal is done and the business isn't going anywhere. Okay, it's only gonna bring you back for more business. So that's the thing to focus on. Be likable. Don't be tangible. Be different. Know that when you leave that house, the decision they made was an absolute no-brainer and that as great as you're feeling, they are feeling even better. That's kind of the, the, the tip of the day. Um, it's nothing insurance related. That stuff absolutely means nothing if you're not likable and people don't trust you. The two things that sell, likability and trust. You've got to have those factors.